Wow. Wow is right. Feels pretty good. It does feel pretty good. Can I have another? You sure can. Yep. Truck was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't believe you when you were like, it's not the right thing. I'm like, no, it's the right thing. <laughs> we were so confident. We were so confident it was the right thing. We are more than confident, man. Well, let's see if I can make this a little bit, sound a little bit better. All right. Let's start. All right. Let me uh, turn on the dealie here. Hey everybody, welcome to Minnesota Well Done. Uh, we're recording from the Old Swiss Bank on the east side of St. Paul in the corner of Case and Payne. And uh, yeah, we just got started up. We got all the equipment set up and we're doing a little bit of a short episode zero and getting it out for you so you can know what's going on um, and you can know what to expect from us uh, over the next couple weeks and uh, hopefully well into the future. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I'm Seth, I'm one of your hosts, and uh, just a little bit about myself. I've been in the business for about 20 years, um, all over the states. Um, I love Minnesota. Came back here, raised a family. Um, love the industry. It's great. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I'm Christos. Um, Christos Sharakis Robertson. Um, I'm super Greek. Um, but I'm also super only half Greek, so my Rapsies. family will never let me forget that. So it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty great. It's pretty great. It's uh it's not the best, but um, oh, it's the best. Yeah, it is the best. I mean, I look great. Um, I do wear turtlenecks in the middle of June, which is I mean completely stylish. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was raining today. Okay. It was it was, it was still 80. <laughs> so we uh, so I've actually cooked all over St. Paul and Minneapolis um, uh, out into the su- into the suburbs and um, I've learned all kinds of different cultures of food. I've worked for some incredibly interesting people. Um, this is actually one of the most interesting people that I've worked for. Uh, we used to uh, work together at Italian eatery back in the day and then um, Seth did his own venture at bar in downtown Minneapolis, and you know it was kind of a dumpster fire, but <laughs> you know it was a dumpster fire. <laughs> that's, that's, why doing, that's why we're doing a podcast now. That's why we're doing a podcast now. Um, uh, but uh-huh. but honestly, between the two of us, we know a lot of people in the industry, and um, there's all this stuff going on with COVID right now. The the civil unrest, let's call it, uh, is is causing some serious waves in the industry as well. And um, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of people to talk to. And um, yeah, so we've we've just gotten gotten our shit together and yeah. like really started setting up uh, setting up interviews and and setting up a, a show. So um, yeah, let's tell them a little bit about it. Um, I mean, we got we got. A ton of people coming on, um, you know. Uh, well, we're planning on doing weekly podcasts is the thing. So we, we're going to do a podcast with just Seth and I where we're shooting the breeze. We're having fun talking about um, news that's going on. Um, the history in different regions. Oh, yeah, dude. I can't – I really can't wait to do little segments on stuff like – so we're on the east side right now. And you can see that everybody on Payne and everybody on Arcade knows all the different owners of all the different restaurants in the area. And I, I, you know, that's happened in all these different areas of Minnesota. So like if you go over to Eat Street, if you worked in one restaurant in Eat Street, it, the, it's a high possibility that you've worked at another restaurant. It's true. And so you have these like little microcosms of different uh, different like cultures and, and the way that different people cook and mm-hmm. like you have these this whole like community of people and so I, I'm kind of excited to get into that um, hopefully we'll get into that a little bit on the first episode uh, but we're gonna do it all all over the state if not the second for sure yeah. Yeah. Um, and so what what we're planning on doing is just one episode with Seth and I and then another episode um, with 
the staff myself and then um, a chef or a farmer or somebody in the supply, uh, the supply chain of the restaurant industry of Minnesota. Um, uh, so right, right now it's only chefs. Yeah, it's only chefs right now. Um, we hope to go past that, but we will. Yeah. Um, we'll get there. Uh, but chefs are knowledgeable and they, they know the industry very well. I, I think another thing about the chefs is that like they're just incredibly interesting people. A lot of them, you know, went and stodged in other countries or other states or other cultures, and they just have these wild, super crazy stories. And they bring that soul back into their food, but you rarely hear about it unless you work for them. Yep, you hear the whole underbelly of of the industry to them. Yeah, and so that's that's kind of like what we get to do is we get to bring that out and we get to show everybody who's watching the show. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's a couple other things that we want to talk about that we're, we're planning on doing. We have a lot of plans for the show, and obviously it's like we're, we're really learning as we go, um, but there, there's some things that we're definitely going to do. Yep. Um, so I really want to do some kind of like weekly news, um, you know, like you have, you have articles in the Star Tribune, mm -hmm. and you have new restaurants opening. Um, we'll let you know what's going on. Yep. We'll do the research and then we'll bring it up and we'll talk about it. We'll joke about it. We'll laugh about it. You know, if it's some guy that we know and, and he's kind of a, I don't know. Interesting fellow. Yeah. If he's interesting, <laughs> uh, we'll let you know, you know what I mean? And, 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 and if it's, good, and if it's great can, food, I mean, yeah. and, and you know, a great chef, Hey, we're going to let you know. So, and that's a big thing about this show is like, there's going to be some shop talk and there's, you know, we are going to be talking about different types of food um, and we're going to talk about, you know, uh, like the difference between French and Italian cuisine, for instance. But there's also going to be a lot of uh, knowledge that you wouldn't get anywhere else. So mm -hmm. this show is not just for people in the industry. It's not, you know, it's, it's for waiters, it's for waitresses, it's for hostesses, it's for cooks, it's for chefs, yep. it's for managers. But it's also for the people who are, like, legitimately looking for where's a good place to eat. Right, you right. Know? Because uh, yep. we're gonna have some some really talented chefs on here, and they're and they're gonna show they're gonna show you their personality, and I guarantee you that personality is gonna be reflected it's, in their food. Oh, it's totally reflected in their food. I, I I would say that's probably one of the biggest things that I've noticed is like if you if you meet if you meet an executive chef in any capacity, you can pretty much figure out what their food is gonna taste like just by having like a ten minute conversation. With yep. Them. Yep. And we're going to be talking about And bringing food that food. out is going to be great. Oh, yeah. I can't wait, dude. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, so I w we want to hype up the industry, you know, but we also want to kind of... Uh, Talk about the standards. Yeah, I mean, it's... Here, here's the thing. There's a lot going on in the industry that isn't... Kosher. Yeah, it's not cool. You know, and I, I, I hear a lot of complaints from a lot of different chefs... And I have my own complaints. I mean, I'm still working in the industry. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, we're going to bring that stuff up, too. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be a, a, a lot of back and forth about how we can improve uh, improve our entire community week by week. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so in terms of, like, the actual podcast, we are planning on doing some advertisements. Um, right now, the plan is to do local advertisements. Yes, it is. So, you know, we have we have one sponsor lined up right now. Um, hopefully, if we continue to get likes and we continue to get views, that will change in the future. Yes. Um, and then we're we're toying with the idea of using a, a, a Patreon and adding uh, more content and um, you know basically be a, some kind of sliding charge. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, we're still super learning as we go. So who do we have? Who do we have coming on? Um, so we have uh, Chef Jack first, Jack Rebel from the Lexington. Okay. Um, shortly after that, who's next up? Kevin, I think. Go okay, Kevin Roos from Pazaluna. Yeah. So we have. So after Kevin, um, I'm planning on having Darren Koch on um, from D Spot. He's worked uh, throughout the throughout the cities, um, but he kind of finally made his own brick and mortar over in Maplewood and mm -hmm. they do all these different kinds of wings and so that'll be a cool that'll be a cool one. And then Alki's from It's Greek to Me. Um, out in out in uh, Minneapolis on Lindale and Lake. Um, 
I think that'll be a good example of just like how this show can be effective mm-hmm. on kind of telling people what the the deal is because people think that that's a war zone right now and it's really not. Oh right. Like the last time that I went out there, you know, it was it was just like any other day. There was kind of a lot of construction, but um, other than that, it's like people people literally think it's just a pile of rubble and that's just not the case. You have open restaurants that are you know struggling. It's still to struggling. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think we have too much more to share. No, today. not too much more. I think that that is that covers pretty much everything that we're trying to get across. This is the kind of show that we're gonna have. It's gonna be me, me and Seth, uh, you know, screwing around, and then um, hopefully a decent amount of information on the industry that we all love and is. I, I us. yeah, and there will be. Yep. All right, man. Well, uh, we oh, so our next episode. Our next episode is going to be, so we're planning on uh, putting episodes out on Monday. Um, we haven't figured out a time yet. We're still, fi- we're still figuring out we're still software figuring time. and like mm-hmm. trying to figure out exactly what the timeline is going to look out, look, look like. But we know that our, our, our first episode, our first actual episode where we go, th- you know, where we're actually going to go through this, some of the segments that we talked about is coming out next Monday. Um, and then our first uh, conversation or interview, or however you want to put it, um, with Jack Rebel will co- come out the following uh, the following Monday. We'll have it on all platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be going through syndication um, uh, through what what what's it, Pod Podbean Podbean. So we're going to be doing it through Podbean. So then once we once we syndicate it through Podbean, we can get it on uh, Spotify and iTunes on audio only. Um, but we can, uh, once we edit this episode, we can put it directly on YouTube. So everything will be available on YouTube, and then eventually it'll be a- available on all the other pra- platforms mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Sounds good, man. It's we'll, good. We'll, we'll see you guys next week. We will. All right.